Hi, Joanna. Nice to see you here. Whoa, what are you wearing? That looks so cool. Oh, you mean my face bubble. Here, try this one on. It's a face bubble from the future. You can take off your mask when you use it. Wow, it must be cool to have all these fancy tech from the future, Radia. It sure is. Don't worry. You'll see it all someday, too. What's with those mangoes? You don't seem to be happy reading its label. Oh, it's just that these nice-looking mangoes have been irradiated. Doesn't it mean that these were exposed to radiation? I don't feel comfortable buying these anymore. Do they want us to eat radioactive food? Sure. Irradiation or radiation processing is the controlled application of ionizing radiation in order to modify materials to a desired effect. Ionizing radiation, such as gamma rays, electron beams, and x-rays, which are generated from electron beams, are used in the process. This is how crop and food irradiation is done. What? How can that be? Can you please tell me how irradiation works? Crop and food irradiation serves a similar purpose to refrigeration, canning, and heat treatment of food products. It is done to achieve certain desirable objectives, such as extended shelf life of food and agricultural products, and reduced post-harvest losses. Unlike the usual heat treatment, crop food irradiation, which is a cold process, can be used to pasteurize and sterilize food without causing changes in the freshness, taste, and texture of food. Likewise, irradiation does not leave any harmful toxic residues in food and is found to be more effective than chemical fumigants. But why do we need to process crops and food this way? But wouldn't it make the food look or taste different? Is it still safe to eat? Irradiated foods remain safe to eat. Irradiation of food causes no toxicological hazards and introduces no nutritional or microbiological problems. In fact, controlled exposure of produce to ionizing radiation effectively destroys pathogenic and non-pathogenic bacteria as well as parasites and some viruses. This is caused by the damaging effect of radiation to a critical component of the cell of microorganisms, the genetic material. Exposure to ionizing radiation causes bond breakage in DNA strands to the extent that is lethal to the pathogens. This occurs without any adverse effect on the food product irradiated and makes it even safer to eat. The safety of irradiated food products is covered by local regulations and international standards. In the Philippines, the FDA or Food and Drug Administration approves irradiated products under DOH Administrative Order No. 152 Series of 2004, prescribing regulations of irradiated food. Those who facilitate irradiation in the country must follow the Philippine National Standard Code of Hygienic Practice for Radiation Processing of Food imposed by the Department of Trade and Industry, or DTI. These local standards adhere to the prevailing international standards, which is known as the Codex Alimentarius Standards for Food Irradiation. And even though all known methods of food processing, even storing food, can lower the content of some nutrients such as vitamins. Radiation, even at higher doses, does not adversely affect the quality of food during irradiation. Take note of all the benefits of food irradiation that can greatly help the food industry. Reduced post-harvest losses. Disinfection of fresh fruits and agricultural products for storage extension of shelf life of food and agricultural commodities such as fruits, vegetables, meat, poultry, fish, and seafood. Reduced microbes responsible for spoilage. Elimination of disease-causing microorganisms. That sounds great! Is there a way we can tell the difference between an irradiated mango from one that is not? Irradiated food cannot be recognized by sight, smell, and taste. 
The only way to know if food has undergone irradiation as a food treatment is the presence of a radura symbol or logo on its packaging along with the statement treated with radiation or treated by irradiation. That's right, Smarty! They service a wide variety of produce such as ground black and white pepper, cayenne powder, turmeric powder, onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, tamarind powder, chives, and other condiments. Sprout disinfestation of bulbs like onions and garlic and insect disinfestation of fruits and grains. You seem to really like mangoes. We all do in our family. It seems I don't have to worry about irradiation after all. Thanks for the space bubble and for letting me know all about irradiation, Radia. No problem. See you!